Hey guys, welcome back to M365 Tech Titans and I hope everyone's doing well. So today I'm going to show you one of the highly requested topic um, in Microsoft Excel that is how do you highlight one of the rows whichever the row you have selected in Microsoft Excel. Let's say if you're dealing with a large data set um, for, for today's session I just, ha I just have a sheet of auto sales report for all the different models of the cars and then the numbers we have here is the number of units sold in each year here so it's 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 kind of um, an easy thing to do and it's really helpful when you're dealing with one of the large data set like this one right now if i want to check for sales report like the sales number how many units were sold for q7 in the year of 2020 um, I would just have to keep my cursor straight and scroll it all the way to 2020. But just to save that all that hassle, um, we can always do it automatically. So whatever the cell you have selected, like whatever the row number you have, um, it highlights the whole row for, for your whole data set. And that becomes really easy to just uh, go through the data set and find the values. Same way, I'll also show you how, how you can highlight the whole column as well. Okay. So let's get started. So first of all, whatever the data set you have, you can select that data just by simply going and um, doing control A. So that's going to select your data. Other easy way is to just select the header and scroll all the way to select the whole data set you have. And then on the home tab itself, um, under the styles, you have to go click on conditional formatting and then hit new rule. So we're just going to create a new rule. So it says select rule type. So under, under rule, rule type, we have to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. So once we select that, it's going to ask you um, that you have to give a rule description. So in that rule description, you can type equals cell and op open the parenthesis and we'll do double quotes type in row and then close this equals to row and we'll open and close the parenthesis. So use this exact formula which you see here on the screen. Once you have the formula inserted over here, the rule description, right on the bottom here, click on format and then if you don't have the fill selected by default, you'll select the fill option from here on the top and then you can choose whatever the color you want. I'm going to go with a little um, light reddish or orange color over here. And then we'll just go ahead and click OK. And now when you see this under preview, when you see your color here, um, click OK. So what, what's going to happen is right now we just have the rule created. So wherever I click, um, it's not going to it's not going to highlight that initially so now we just have to put in a small formula like a small text on this whole worksheet and that's going to make our change so over here at the bottom where you have your worksheet name right click on that and then go view code and when you when you do view code option on on your worksheet it's going to open this option and by default you won't have um any different commands over here so in between the private sub and the end you have to type exactly what what i'm typing here the private sub and the end you just have to type target dot and you'll select the option calculate and as soon as you have that selected just close this right off it auto saves everything and now on if i click on q7 it's going to highlight that row now you can see any row which I select on, it's going to highlight the whole row. And this is really easy if you have a large data set and you can always play around with the whole sheet um, and you don't have to just manually um, scroll your cursor over back and forth just to look at all the values. And same way, we are going to look at um, look at the columns. So now what you can do is, again, so same thing what we did, we'll do control A. So that select the whole data set and then under conditional formatting, we'll go ahead and now you already have that rule created. So you can either go and click manage rules 
but I'm going to show you just to just to show that um, we create we create a new role. So you'll go ahead and click on new role here, and we we'll go we're going to create another role with the same option. Use a formula to determine which cells to format, and then under this format role description, now we have to enter what we have to enter is equals to cell and under here in the open parenthesis we'll just enter col column and then close that and we'll do equals to all caps column and then open and close so we just go ahead and type all this information same way what we did for the rows we'll do it same for the columns go ahead and format and for the columns i'm going to select a different color here so i'm going to select a little bit lighter green shade for this one so i'll go ahead and click ok and under preview i can see i've got my color and i'm going to hit ok so now we already have the view code updated to target.calculate so this is a good way if you want to keep row and column activated at the same time if i want to so now whenever i click i you can see it highlights the row as well as the column whenever or like on any cell I click now let's say if you want to get rid of one of the row you want to get rid of the row and you just want to keep the highlighted column so same way you'll go ahead you'll select the whole data set by doing just a simple control a and now under conditional formatting you'll go ahead and hit manage rules and under these manage rules you'll see both your rules if both your rules what you have created here so you can you can simply click on row the role which you want to remove you can simply select that role and on the top you'll see an option called delete rule so you can go ahead and delete that role and hit ok so now you simply have just the column and the row rule is deleted so this is very useful option when you're dealing with large data file and uh, you have to look across all the different values and uh, just just gives a little relief to your eyes so Thanks for watching and feel free to drop in all your new video requests. Thank you.